Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I've recently been up at Get The Beat State Finals in Queensland with my little sister Poppy. So it gave me the genius idea that I should do a makeup tutorial since I have been doing her makeup. I thought that I would share some of my tips and my favorite, favorite go-to stage makeup so that you can look and know just how I do my makeup. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing that I do when doing my makeup is I know a lot of people use like primer and stuff but I don't do that. I just use straight away foundation. This one is from Mick O Beauty in the shade Classic Ivory. So I just squeeze a bit onto my hand and I usually go overload with way too much foundation on my hand and then have heaps left. So I'm always trying to tell myself you can always add more and you don't need that much. So I just put it all over my face and what I do is I use a brush first just because I find that it goes over your face a lot quicker and easier but then because sometimes you get like those brush marks so then I go and I get a sponge and blend it all out so it can look a little bit messy when I just slap on the foundation onto my face just like this and just like this get it all on and usually I love to take ages on my makeup but sometimes you can't do that so this is really good just to get it all on okay so now I go in with my wet beauty blender and just bang on my forehead and try and blend it all out also you not sure if you noticed but I had a little red blotch here and that in here if you can see that that's because I am allergic to nickel sulfate which I just found out like maybe six or eight months ago and we actually found out because at my ballet school Atelier Australia we have these bars and every time I would go there I would come home with all this red over my face so we did an allergy test and we put up I put up with it for like oh probably a good six months until I thought that I sh we should get the allergy test and it came back that I'm allergic to nickel sulfate so now I have to use a wooden bar in the center, which is super fun. But yes, I must have touched something yesterday that was nickel sulfate and it nickelified me. Hey, what? You got nickelified? Nickelified me. So that's why I have these red blotches down and then up with the foundation to make sure that it's completely seamless and pretty and sometimes even onto my ears. So then I just set my face with powder and I usually go downwards or I just blotch it like this. Usually I just go up and down underneath the eyes and then I go down everywhere else. Gosh, this is... This makes my eyes water all the time. I don't know why. But I think I just poke myself in the eyes and I'm way too rough. So it's really funny when I do my sister's makeup. She's always like and I'm just like <sighs> but it gets it done fast so that's what I recommend okay so next step is I use contour and this palette I'm not even joking is so good it's such a shame that sports girl discontinued it it is the sculpt and glow palette from sports girl and it has I'll open it up and show you different contour colors and then illuminators and highlighters so it's super super pretty so what I do is I just do the golden warm contour color tap it off otherwise it gets way too chunky and then I think you are meant to do like a three so you go like one like three in that way so I just usually do my makeup beforehand so that I can be rough with the brush and then I use the more more of a lighter color on the 
more inner part of my cheekbone and then I bring it down here and then what I actually like to do is get this darker color and tap it off and then I do this little section here so the top part of your cheekbone and then I bring it up and just blend it out so that's one side that's contoured and one side that isn't and then I'll just quickly go on and do the other side Next is nose contour. So I literally use the same palette and I mix the two light and dark shades, tap it off. And then this is a Morphe E62 brush from the James Charles X Morphe brush collection. And this is so good for nose contour. I love it. And I just go up and down and then I bring it into my eyebrow and keep going and then I bring it onto this part of my nose do that again and then onto the other side of your nose also you do not want to get outlined really hard I was trying to learn what I had to make up because I think I use a very specific product whereas this is a little bit anywhere you don't want to anywhere and the whole routine will still work perfectly so it's not like that okay so next step is my favorite two steps, highlighter. Now this highlighter, I think I've had, we've probably had it for a good three years and it is so, so good. It is from MAC and it is soft and gentle shade. When I tell you I've never used a highlighter before this that has been so good, I promise. It is so, so good and it's my favorite and it lasts a really long time too. So what I do with this is I, use more of the edge and I found that more like subtle highlighter actually is a bigger impact whereas I used to just like Bleh. but this is actually where I'm gentle with my brush because when you're dancing on stage it already looks like you're sweating so you don't want it to look extra crazy and usually I do contour and then I do blush then highlighter up above but here is where my hat comes in and you'll I'll get to that soon after I finish the highlighter. So then on my nose, like that, as James Charles says, nice and snatched. And then I do circular motions in like this T-zone and then I go outwards. And then I do this and I go eh, 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 eh underneath my nose and then on my chin and that's highlighter all done but I usually will keep it out for the next step and the hack okay so what I will usually do for competitions is I get a really really harsh blush and then use it quite a lot because when all the lights are on you on stage you get very drawn out by the lights and so you've got to over exaggerate everything that you would usually do for daily life so if I just show you a comparison, this is like the blush color that I usually use or something like this if I'm doing a class, that bottom shade. And then this is what I use on stage. So I use like that color. So you definitely want to over exaggerate everything. That's why my contour is pretty contourish. contourish because you've just got to exaggerate everything so what I do is this one's actually just BYS blush trio it's so good and I just do both of these colors tap it off and this is where the hack comes in so I used to see people would have like this really pretty like pinky sparkly highlighter mix and then I finally found out how you do it you mix your blush on top of your highlighter and then you put highlighter back on top of the blush so then it mixes super super nicely and I'm gonna go a little bit more exaggerated with this blush so get ready so as you can tell that is very very blushy I'm not sure if you can see it through the camera but real life it is pink which I love because I love pink and then as I watch like more beauty guru people, 
I found that they actually put it like on their nose. So not as if it was a highlighter, but more just like that kind of. So I tried it and it actually looked pretty good. So now I'm going to mix my highlighter using the same exact blush brush. Gosh, that's a tongue twister. Blush, brush, blush, brush, blush. Oh gosh. And then if you can see that, see how it's a super pretty like pink sparkly glow, which I love. And so then I just like reapplied the highlighter where I put the blush and it looks so good, so good on stage. So next step, now that I've finished my base, is setting spray. And I use, yeah, use, I use setting spray when I've done the base and then after I've done everything. So this setting spray is so, so good. It is from Morphe and it is Continuous Setting Mist. So love that for me. And I'll just spray it like this. I kind of like the taste and smell of it too. You're probably not meant to eat it, but it tastes good, so. <sighs> Done. Now let's move on to the more fun part and the more risky part. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the eyeshadow and this is the Morphe palette. And which palette is this? It's the Artistry palette. And, oh my god, nearly dropped it. <laughs> Try and open it. So, I actually just cleaned this palette literally the other day. I'm really, really not a clean makeup person. I'm really messy. So, yeah. So, now that you're closer in to watch what I do for my eyeshadow, this, and then what I do is grab this, like, fluffy brush. I'm really not good with brush names but it's from the James Charles Morphe Bruff Bruff Take 2 brush set and this is M441 definitely not the greatest beauty guru that's why I don't have a beauty guru makeup channel so I grabbed the two shades that are closest to my skin color and then what I do is because I put the like concealer onto my eye I grab the blush ugh, Blush, jeez. I grab the eyeshadow and I just make it more the natural color so then it's easier to work with. And it's kind of, you also kind of get a template then for what, when you're going to put your eyeshadow on. I know, eyeshadow is so scary. Like, I get it. I hate doing colorful eyeshadows. Like, brown is out of my comfort zone, literally. So, what I found was really helped is grabbing the brush more at the very very end Whereas I would usually grab it like here and just start moving because here you have less control Which means that it'll blend smoother. So I've now got that color and I'll just blend it all the way out Usually out to here back in and I like to focus mainly on the crease of my eye Which is that little dent there So go back in for a bit more pigment and remember, it doesn't have to be perfect as it's going to have stuff over the top of it. Okay, so now actually grabbing that same brush, I'm going to get that same like nude, more brown color. And then mix it with a bit of this more shimmery stuff. This, as I said, will work with any palette as long as you just have colors that you like. And if you usually just follow this same pattern, so light darker shimmer shimmer so this will look really creepy ready oh my gosh i'm doing this for fun okay so now if you can see i've got more of that packed on in the middle and then i'm just going to exaggerate that a bit more so now as you can see i've brought that shade up more towards my eyebrow and then i We'll get a different brush and actually do more of a dark shimmery type of thing going on in the outer corner. So now I've got this Morphe M433 brush and it's more of a flat brush. So a bit different to the round fluffy one I was just using. And now I'm going to get a bit of a darker color and mix it with the same type of color but in more of a shimmer. And then I'll just use that on this outer bit like this. And like I've, I've done so many things to try and find 
something that will actually work eyeshadow wise like i've tried tape i've tried so many different combinations and i actually never never settle on one it's always different and experimenting for me but i have found that this one i've definitely stuck with the longest so i love it other eye so now i'm just swapping to a bit more of a circular but smaller type of brush and i'm just going to grab some shimmer you can actually even grab highlighter it does not matter as long as it's shimmery and i just circle that on this inner bit of my eye just like this and i really love to pack this on like i put a lot of it on and then i just continue that underneath my eye and then i'll usually put some underneath my eyebrow and just touch up the highlighter too because as i said i love shimmer a lot Okay, so that is now my eyeshadow all done. As you can see, it's very like browns and neutral colors. Now it's time to move on to eyeliner. I would usually be doing lashes, but lashes are irritating, frustrating, and not what I really want my day to be like today. So we're just gonna do mascara. But if you do lashes, just do lashes in this step. And then I'll just do some brow gel and lipstick. Okay, so I just grab any brow gel and then I pop it through my eyebrows just like this. I know a lot of people like tint their eyebrows and put color stuff through them, but I tried that once and it did not look good, trust me. I came out with black eyebrows. So that doesn't work for me, so I just put this clear stuff through them. This one is just from Maybelline and i just brush it through my eyebrows okay so that's my eyebrows all done now time to move on to the mascara and eye okay so i've actually decided that i will put lashes on just for you guys but doesn't mean i'm happy about it i'll tell you that but it'll do i'll put the lashes on and also i just wanted to make a big disclaimer this kind of does look a bit more orange through the camera lens but trust me when I say it's not. It's like browns and everything. So I'll insert a photo of what it actually does look like here. So you know it's not orange. <laughs> okay, so oh, lashes are frustrating. I hate lashes so much. They look really good, but they're not nice to put on. Okay, so something that I've actually found that is really, really helpful for me is this little like clippy thing that I got in a pack of eyelashes well the camera focus there we go so it's just like this and i literally stick the eyelash in i think i got this from literally cole so you can literally get these anywhere and then you hold the lash and i grab the glue and i pile the glue on big time get the glue on and then my favorite part not sticking the lash on so now i usually use my fingers for this just because i feel like i have a bit more of control and then stickity doo it on and then once i feel like it's kind of dried that's when oh well that's kind of a success I would usually be doing lashes, but lashes are irritating, frustrating, and not what I really want my day to be like today, so we're just gonna do mascara. That is actually perfect. Oh. I was about to say, then I usually get this little thing and press it, but I don't wanna touch this anymore. I have a good feeling about this. To be honest. Okay, hang on, let me just get this bit. Let's wait for the big reveal. That is good. Whoa! Now let's hope and pray. 
pray this eyeliner does not mess everything up. Oh, actually, I just remembered. It won't because my sister's makeup that I had to do involves a lot of eyeliner and drawing on her face. So I've actually run out of it, which means we have to get a new one, which is kind of good because it means I'm not going to use a pencil eyeliner. I only use like liquid ones. So now I can't mess this look up. Love that for me. Yeah. It's a good life. Okay, so now I usually never line my lips, but I thought I'll try it today. So I've got this liner. Okay, lips are lined. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Now, usually I use a MAC red lipstick called Russian Red or Ruby Woo, but today I thought I'll try a liquid lipstick. So we'll see how this looks. Oh. Ah, no, I fell. Gosh. Kind of liking that a lot. Does any, is it just me or does anyone else always mess up with these inner bits? I saw this hack where you put like a cotton bud thing in and then it's meant to like get it perfectly for you but not sure how much that works and not willing to try it today when I've just done this well with makeup. Today's just so my day and I really love that. Okay guys, I hope that's helped you with your staged makeup. Also, I'm going to film a hair tutorial on how to do ballet buns like maybe braids into buns and different ballet hairstyles. So comment down below which ballet hairstyles you want me to show you how to do. I could do French rolls, all these different things. So that will probably be next video. If you enjoyed this and found this helpful, it would really mean so much to me if you liked and subscribed down below and turned on the post notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every time that I upload a brand new video. And this is my Instagram handle at sheisdaisydo and it will also be in the link in the description box. So you can check out how I do my makeup and watch little things there. So yeah, if you want to see this makeup in real life, go and check out my Instagram and see you all soon. Bye guys.